So PC Pro, which again stands for plasma cell proliferation, is our new flow cytometry assay here at Mayo Clinic available through Mayo Medical Laboratories. And it determines several things. It has several advantages. Um, the first advantage is it's a rapid test. The turnaround time is generally less than 24 hours. And it has a high detection sensitivity. It can detect 1 in 10,000 clonal plasma cells. Another advantage of the test is it can not only identify clonal plasma cells and enumerate them, but it can also enumerate and identify polyclonal plasma cells in the background that may have associated prognostic significance. A third advantage is that the PC Pro assay can determine the S phase or the proliferation rate of the clonal plasma cells, and this may have prognostic significance in myeloma as well. The plasma cell proliferation rate used to be determined at Mayo Clinic by a plasma cell labeling method, and this has uh, very recently been um, replaced. The uh, method of detection is via DAPI nuclear staining of the clonal plasma cells. A fourth advantage of the plasma cell proliferation assay is that we can detect very small plasma cell clones based on uh, DNA content abnormalities or aneuploidy, and this can provide information not necessarily for the diagnosis of myeloma, but can be correlated with the MSMART assay or the cytogenetic fish assay that we're going to discuss momentarily. The MSMART assay is the combined cytogenetic and fish assay that's used to detect genetic aberrations in clonal plasma cells. This is a consensus opinion on the utilization of certain genetic markers, as well as providing risk stratification and therapy, hence the acronym MSMART. So in the MSMART assay, a combination of fish probes are tested, and then in conjunction with the con conventional cytogenetic results, a subsequent risk stratification is made. That can either be standard risk, high risk, or intermediate risk. And if you want to see the complete details of the genetics that comprise each of those groups, you can go to the Mayo Medical Laboratory's website or msmart.org. So another important component of the MSMART test is that if this is ordered through Mayo Clinic, through the Mayo Medical Laboratories, we will provide an integrated report of all the genetic findings in a patient with newly diagnosed myeloma and provide you the risk stratification classification.